I have a plant who I was propagating and this baby has grown the most ridiculous roots and she's kind of stuck in a pot so I need to repot her and I'm going to repot another one of my monsteras as well that's growing out of its pot so I thought I would bring you guys along with me today and show you how I repot my plant and how I'm literally like such a plant nerd so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys at the end So I got all my stuff. I'm getting ready to put this baby into a new pot and hopefully she can continue thriving. So I'm trying to squeeze this part out of here. <laughs> it's got like a big node on it and a big root sticking out and I gotta get it through this little neck. Look at these roots. They're like velvety. Oh my God. I gotta show you this up close. Gotta show you this up close. This is too damn cool. Am I a plant nerd or what? I literally had to show you guys this up close. I mean, this is literal nuts. Like strong, good roots too. Look at these. Like big old aerial roots. And they're like furry and fuzzy and velvety and just to be perfectly honest, you guys, I feel like the pot that I have is like not even big enough. I didn't realize these roots were so massive. That is crazy. All right, geeky plant vibe. <laughs> yesterday when I was inside Home Depot that I might have needed some I couldn't remember how full or not full or lack thereof the one that I already had was and apparently it was a little less than I thought at least not enough to fill both of these uh, plant pots the way that I would like to because they're pretty big but um, I do have them both in nonetheless so I'll need to stop and get some more soil 
but other than that hopefully they'll thrive i hope that the one that i put in the dirt that came out of the water like it doesn't isn't in too much like root shock or anything by going into the dirt that was a big gigantic root ball so i'm interested to see if this plant makes it but hopefully so so i'm gonna scooch these to the side put a little bit of water on the other one and then i'm gonna go inside and have some lunch i actually wanted that one to stand up I can actually probably cut like all those old leaves off too. Maybe it won't be so heavy. I can probably propagate them too, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Calls me day and night I'm sorry girl you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry You were right Just leave me be I'm not gonna put up a fight And every time you wake up Okay so I was able to find some dirt that I had inside of one of these buckets So I ended up being able to fill this plant in so originally this plant came from the mother monstera but it got burned really bad and like three of the leaves that were on it looked like this they were completely scorched and like tore up but i kept the leaves and i kept watering the plant like i didn't do anything to it i did end up repotting it and so out of that came this that this is the newest leaf. Look at how freaking gorgeous and huge. And then this also. So four new leaves came from actually five. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. This whole new thing right here basically came from these two. I had originally put these bell peppers inside of just a little tray like this and I started them from seed and so they were in really small containers and then I moved, I transplanted those into this. It has been way beyond time for me to transplant this into something else. Um, I thought at first that maybe this was just going to end up being just a greenery piece because nothing was happening but look. So it's budding. There's two, three flowers that have shown up on one of these. So, I mean, those are basically bell peppers um, as they continue to grow. But I definitely think that growth is being um, stagnated by the size of this pot. So I think at Home Depot, I originally got the third... Um, one of these pots to put the bell pepper because it's tall and it would give the bell pepper plant chance to stand up. The problem is I also need to repot this because I don't know if you guys remember but I repotted this plant in to the pot that it's in. This is that like ratchet pot that I got from the backyard and it basically ended up being pretty much the exact same size almost as the pot that I took this plant out of so it's basically like I really didn't do it any justice I just put it into a different pot and so same problem exists is that I think this pot's going to be too small it's like the same exact size yeah I mean this is purposeless to put it in here I was thinking I could put it inside this big one but then if I do that um, I won't be able to change out the bell peppers decisions decisions to be made right <laughs> um, I really don't know which one I'm gonna do yet I think I'm going to pot the green plant and I think I'm gonna get a different type of pot for the bell peppers. 
Since my Patreon classes have been picking up a lot more, I have been devoting some time in the evenings just to putting together sequences for my classes. So that's basically what I did for the rest of this evening. I was working through my yoga anatomy book and also just getting into the books that I've purchased anyway. I have tons of books and they have literally just been sitting on the shelf. So study time in the evenings has definitely been something that I've incorporated into really just trying to be more present as my intentions are to really live a slower and more holistic life. Plant parenting is also another way of centering and being much more present. What are you currently reading and or studying? Let me know in the comments below. That's going to be it for this video. I thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to check out our other socials.